This is an old piece of chain and a really old uh, axe head that I found at work. So I'm going to have a go at making uh, a new axe out of it. It looks like the old head of the axe has been in a fire at some point. So I need to drill it out, which I'll, uh, I'll drill it out now. I'm going to use my battery grinder just to clean up the surface. Uh, this, this grinder is a Kielder, it's, uh, it's an electric battery grinder. It's, uh, it's been pretty good to be honest, the batteries are quite good. Last quite a while, maybe worth a look at. The face of this accent, it's got a second point on it, which I think is um, to help the log split, possibly for decoration. So I'm going to try and keep the shape of that, because it'll make it look a little bit better when the axe is um, cleaned up and painted. I'm just removing the welded in old handle which I grinded away, knocked that out and then I can put my new handle on there and cover the top up. Now I'm just filling in any holes that was in the surface with um, some weld just to give us a bit of a better finish at the end. Because I don't want to use the body filler or anything. So I'm just doing a spot of pre-cleaning, just getting ready for the uh, welding process. So I'm just giving it the chain a clean up before it's all welded together to make the handle. This has come out really nice, so I'm going to weld the other sides up and uh, make sure it's a nice strong handle. So my little dog shit eBay welder. Decided to pack up, so I'm going to take it apart quickly, uh, repair it, put it back together, hope it works, and uh, try not to blow it up again because these big welding rods are killing it welding this uh, chain handle. Okay, so that's the welder fixed. Let's have another go and hopefully it does not blow up this time. And a bit of advice, don't buy a world out of eBay. But unfortunately I don't have room for anything bigger. Now the chain handle's all welded together, I'm just gonna give it a light clean up and uh, just smooth the surface out so when it's ready for paint, the, uh, it's nice and smooth. So we're back with a Mickey Mouse welder and I'm hoping to fill this hole around the handle and attach the handle to the head of the axe. So it'll take a bit of time because this welder trips out every five minutes. I've decided to put some silver powder coat on the handle just to make it a little bit stronger and then I can uh, I won't be chipping it and damaging it as I throw it around and let people see it. It's a bit of a soft touch on stuff like this. This uh, my powder coating gun was off eBay, it was about 100 pounds. Um, it's good for hobby sort of stuff. Just spraying chromes or metallic colours are quite difficult with a DIY powder coating, but it does work. It just, just needs a little bit more powder. So I've got the piece of work in the homemade powder coating oven. Leave it in there at 200 degrees for about 25 minutes and then come back and it should be a, bit, a little bit more shiny. While I bake the axe in the oven I'm just going to cut out the capping plate for the top of the axe handle where the old handle is welded in. So I'm just going to form this and um, have a bit of it. This is Phil 
Silver Primer, fills any small sanding marks in your piece of work. You can see the little bubbles coming to the surface. That's the solvent evaporating too quick because the axis heads a little bit warm. It won't make no difference what we're doing here though. So I left it to dry overnight. So now we'll give it a sand down. Basically, we're just trying to make the surface as flat as possible. Obviously, it's a really old axe, but that's the that's the aim. It's just to get a flat, smooth surface. And I'm using 800 grit paper, which is more than enough for this. Because we've used a black prime, we'll only need one coat of top coat. So this is the last coat of um, clear coat now, first and last coat, I'm just going to put one coat on it. The weather is absolutely freezing in England at the moment, so it's not coming out very well. But we'll just do the best, usually uh, lacquer clear coat, as we call it in America, will leave them off as it warms up when I put it in my, uh, in my little bit to dry. Right, so we're at the end of the restoration. This is the uh, parts before, and there it is after. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, or if any ideas for anything else I can do. See you later, guys.